Hi, my name is Lisa Allen. Welcome to our English lesson. In this lesson, we have three objectives. Define when to use the verb to be, distinguir when to use the forms singulares and plurales, formar correctamente oraciones usando las formas de to be en el pasado. El verbo to be en el pasado es nuestro contenido conceptual. Y hay dos. Was, were. El profesor de inglés va a explicar un proyecto especial. Empezamos con la lección. Let's begin. The verb to be. We use the verb to be to express the presence of someone, for instance, that you are here today, job or identity, conditions and emotions. Conditions would be things like busy or tired, and emotions you know. Now, we use these verbs in the present and the past. Today we'll focus on using to be in the past. It has two forms in the past tense. What are they? In the past, we have the singular was that we use with all singular subjects and the plural were. So was and were. All right, the past forms of to be. First of all, was. Was in the past, we use with singular nouns and singular pronouns. For example, Greg was the first boy at school yesterday. Greg, one boy, was. The dog was excited to eat his food last night. The dog, one dog, was. Now, how do we know to use the past? Look at the sentence. Greg was the first boy at school yesterday. And the dog was excited to eat his food when? Last night. So there are clues in the sentence, or there will be clues around the sentence. Were is also in the past, and it's used for plural nouns and pronouns. For example, the apples were delicious. More than one apple. They were late to the party. They, more than one person. Now you try. Fill in the correct past form of to be. Our new dog, obedient last week. One dog. Was. The new buses, red and white, last year. So we use were because we have more than one bus. Last Tuesday, we, on vacation, were. Oh, third on. I, so tired last night. Remember, I, last night, was. I, a musician in high school, in years gone by, was. And finally, you two, Funny, last night. Two people, last night, were. We have seen several new vocabulary words in this short lesson. Excited, late, whole, only, moved, delicious, a lot of, still, until, and though. También, uh, also, también, hemos terminado nuestros tres objetivos. Definir cuándo usar el verbo to be, distinguir cuándo usar las formas singulares y plurales, y formar correctamente oraciones usando las formas de to be en el pasado. El verbo to be en el pasado, was and were, es nuestro contenido conceptual. Thank you.